Wait. Good. He's stoic. Wait. Good. Free. With me. So, um, Ace. It, it, you know, has a couple bites in his history from his house. He's been here for a week and a half, a little over a week. Um, with me, and just saw. Let's go. The first sign of the big F U from him. Sit. Good. Um, with me. With me. Good. So we, um, he didn't want to come out of the crate. Now I hadn't had a problem with him. Katie hadn't had a problem with him. With me. But now we do. And that's not unusual because they kind of evolve and develop. So I'm starting him on the e-collar because it's going to give me and his owners. Wait. Good. Free. A little bit more control of him when he wants to get silly, when he doesn't want to stay on place. And I hadn't been working e-collar on him until today. Um, but since he wants to show me a little bit of attitude about coming out of the crate, this is as good a time as any to make him understand what that pressure means. Let's go. And remember I said that the colors work great on insecure dogs too. Good boy, AC. But he wouldn't wanted to kind of give me the big finger because he didn't want to come out of the crate. Let's go. Oh, sorry, bud. You can pee. You're allowed to pee, Ace. Let's go. So just getting them to understand the pressure. Just like I did with Ella earlier. Good boy. Let's go. Good. Good job. Good boy. Lots of distractions. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. His levels are higher than Ella's. He's a very stoic dog. He doesn't show signs of... Um, he doesn't show signs of uh, the e-collar like some dogs do. So he it was a little hard to read. Let's go. Good boy. Ace, let's go. Good. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I'm trying to make it very clear for you how I'm using it. And you notice he's not yelping, he's not hurt, he's not scared. Ace, let's go. Good. So instead of using the physical collar to direct him, I'm using the e-collar. Got the physical collar to help him in case he needs help. Ace, let's go. Good. So as soon as he turns and heads my direction, that's what we want. All right, Acey boy. Ace, let's go. Good. You guys saw that or not? Let's go. Good. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Anyways, when, he, when he's in his crate and I want to come out, I grabbed the, the crate pad and started pulling it. And he kind of gave me a little attitude about it. And so I pulled it some more because one way or another, he was coming out of the crate. <laughs> He was going to come the easy way or he's going to come the hard way, but he was going to come, uh, he was going to come regardless. And once he did, he was fine. Let's go. Good boy. 
see I have the leash on for guidance. Pressure on until he submits, or commits rather, and pressure off when he, um, when he finally turns around, heads toward me, no pressure. Should he get distracted and want to veer off, pressure again. Let's go. Good boy. Good job, Acey boy. Ace, come. Come. Good. Sit. Sit. Very good boy. There's a good boy. He's a good egg. He's not very sure of himself, but he's a good boy. Free. He's got a pretty little face. He's got a pretty little face. Let's go. And I didn't use any pressure that time. Good boy. I'll do recall here. Ace, come. Good boy. Good job. So you see, hopefully you saw the minute he turned. No pressure. Try that again. Ace, come. Good boy. Good job. Very nice. Good boy. Ace, come. Good boy. Good job. That's a good boy. Free. <laughs> One more time. Ace, come. Good. Uh, 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 uh. Come. Good boy. See how he stopped? He wasn't sure. Good. I helped him. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Very nice. So easy. Let's go. Good boy. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Good boy. No more attitude, okay? Wait. Good. Free. Ace, wait. Good. With me. Wait. Wait. Good. Uh-uh. Wait. Good boy. Free. 